Hi, my name is Jimmy. I'm, I'm the QNAP PM. And uh, in this station, we call high availability stations. So you can take it over here. So I want to make sure everybody have a little bit concept about what is high availability means. High availability have the uh, ability for 24, to solving the 24 hours operations can make this uh, 24 operation perfect like that. Because uh, isn't a NAS always 24 hour available? Yeah, or? It's, yeah it's uh, 24 hours available because this is the service. It's the storage. You have to access all the time. So because sometimes uh, the NAS is busy. Yeah. Some people are backing up and it's too busy to work and then you need to extra NAS to... Oh no, we, we are provide some disaster. So like the part, part outage, or like the Nagu shutdown, or like the shutdown with, with no reasons. So we must to make sure the, like the storage is available every time, or the service is available every time. So that's it's why it's an we earthquake. Need. Yeah, it's an earthquake. Or maybe some other problem. Some, yeah, some yeah. Uh, we can imagine as brother yeah. coming. So HA can solve this problem because the second one can take will take over the service. So that's why. HA so valuable for the there, They need to be the same one? Yeah. Um, actually, in the phase one, it's, it's the possible answer, but in the phase two, we support different models. So, um, they can be different place? Uh, different building? Different yeah, country? Uh, in the phase two, we were going to uh, make that, that happen. But in the phase one, we have to make sure these two is connected directly. What's happening here? Okay, I will show you a little bit demonstration. So, this one we have the two NAS over here. You, you see that one is active and another one is private. So we make sure this one down the private NAS can take over the service. So I just want to make a little bit like uh, take off the maybe cable. The, the cats eat the cable. Yeah, yeah, take off the cable. So that this uh, and a little bit uh, make sure this. This one can link to this. So just make sure there. So the second one will make sure the active one is still alive. So take a little bit time. And when the, and when the, this one, make sure this one is, is dis disappeared. Or something is um, like the cable is, is disconnected. So you see. The second one will take over. Nice. All the service. Like, I mean, all the service is means not only the storage, also the service, like a VPN service or like the uh, LDAP service. And the so, user don't see difference. Yeah, user user just a little bit downtime, just like you can see, just Five, like twenty seconds, like, ten seconds. Yeah, ten seconds. So the connecting will all come back. All with right. the same IP, so the users will know, didn't have no, yeah. So what is a heartbeat? What does this mean? Heartbeat connection. Oh, heartbeat connection is make sure, or make sure these two NAS have the real connections, can make sure they're all alive. So, so they're like, checking all the yeah, time? Yeah, checking all the time, just as I demo that, we cut off and the heartbeat will connect. Okay, the second one just with heartbeat, can this this can, uh, can connect with the first one, so they will take over that. What's the witness server? A oh, witness server, you can you can uh, you can imagine that that is the um, that is the service to make sure which one is the uh, active one and which one is the private one. Is that so, on the cloud or where is it? You can you can over this both side. Okay, and maybe you can. Uh, c you can build it with uh, another, another, NAS. One, another NAS. Yeah, yeah. Right here. What do you use here for the server? We use it both sides. So, so right. you can just we don't need the second NAS. Yeah. All right. The, the third NAS. Yeah. So is this very new solution or? This is the more common solution for the industry, but we just tell everybody we have this right now. Yeah. All right.